Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. I have been searching for a long time for the perfect selfie stick and I think I've pretty much found it. This is the Telson selfie stick for action cameras. So let's unbox it, check it out, try it out. Here we go. All right, so here it is. This is the selfie stick for action cameras by uh, Telesyn. Let's uh, go ahead and open it up. So actually, we'll take a look around the box a little bit. You can see here that it extends out pretty far. It says it goes out to 900 millimeters or 35.4 inches, and it collapses down to 200 millimeters or 7.9 inches. Um, here is a brief uh, user guide for the uh, tripod. So it actually does have a tripod included with it. So that is kind of cool. But um, yeah, the rest of it's just branding on here. So let's actually get this thing opened up and we'll see what's inside. That looks like everything in the box there. So um, yeah, we'll take this out. And this thing feels really, really solid. So um, that's really nice to know. There's sort of, I guess there's tape on there. Um, so we'll get, see if we can actually get this, um, if we can get this uh, paper off of that. And uh, yeah, there we go. So this is sort of the user guide right there for the tripod. We'll set that off to the side. And we can see here, these are the legs of the tripod that just fold out. And uh, yeah, we'll test this to see how this actually performs and uh, how those lock into place. So um, yeah, it looks like they lock. You just turn this right here and they un they un uh, release, you turn that there, and then they lock in. So uh, there you go. Um, it comes uh, by default with a GoPro head there, so you can, uh, you can mount your action cameras on. It also comes with a tripod adapter, so you can put this on here, just like that. Just, uh, let's see if we can slide this thing on there. Just slide that there, and now you have uh, access to a tripod so that you can, uh, you can put your, you can mount your quarter 20 threaded uh, uh, devices on there. So uh, here is, the uh, little nut thing, the, the bolt, so that you can uh, tighten that down. And it also comes with a phone mount, which is really nice. So if you're using this with a phone, you can, uh, you can very easily just hook it up. You just uh, hook this up to the tripod adapter there, hook that on there, and you're ready to go. So anyways, that's everything that comes with it. Oh no, I missed something. This is uh, some sort of mount. I'm not sure exactly what this is. I think this may be... Um, I'm the, yeah. Oh, I think this actually is for a cell phone. I think this actually mounts onto your onto here, and then it uh, and then it it goes like that. It snaps in, boom, and then we can uh, undo that there. And now we can go ahead and screw this on. And now we can have our cell phone in here. We can have. Let's see. We'll tighten that down a little bit tighter. Now we can have our cell phone in here and we can um and we can then use our cell phone as a monitor with our action camera so if we want to go ahead and um and put this in there just like that boom our cell phone's now in there and when we extend this out we can uh we can extend this out there and now we have our action camera up here cell phone down there and we can use it as a monitor so yeah this looks like it's going to be pretty cool so um Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this thing tested out and I'll let you guys know what I think about it. All right, so let's go ahead now, since we've already unboxed it, let's talk about the good and the bad right quick and then let's go outside and, uh, and show you guys how this thing actually works. So the first thing that I wanna mention that I really like about this uh, selfie stick is that it has tripod legs on there that can actually be attached and not in use. So a lot of these selfie sticks, you have to actually attach them and then unattach them or detach them when you're not using them. This, however, actually has uh, legs that are detachable, but they also fold up onto the handle, so you don't actually have to take them off if you don't want to use them. You can just go ahead and fold them up onto the handle and they become part of the handle. Now, if you don't want these on there, you can just go ahead, unscrew them, take them off, and then you just have the selfie stick handle alone. Now, this other good point that I want to mention about the selfie stick is the phone mount that comes with it. You can actually use the phone mount to uh, actually use your phone as a camera by mounting it on top of the selfie stick 
or you can use it actually as your phone as a monitor. So there, the phone mount could be attached to the pole of the selfie stick and then you can use that as a monitor. So if you're using your GoPro, you can connect your GoPro to your phone and then you can actually see what you're filming, which makes everything just a little bit easier, especially if you're filming yourself. It really helps you to compose those shots so you get everything exactly like you want it. All right, so before we jump into the bad, let's go ahead outside. We'll hook up a couple of cameras to it. We'll try it out. We'll see how this selfie stick performs, and then we'll come back in, we'll talk about the bad. All right, so here I am. I'm outside. You can see I actually have the cell phone clip, uh, the cell phone mount uh, mounted onto the selfie stick here, and I have my phone in there, and I'm able to see the GoPro uh, footage right there, the GoPro monitor. So I can use it as a monitor. I can see what I'm shooting, which is really nice since the GoPro's monitor is actually on the back of the camera. This way it allows you to be able to see what you're shooting, frame everything up, and it looks really nice. You can be confident that you're getting exactly the shot that you want. All right, so we have the selfie stick just at its uh, just at its lowest point right here. It's fully collapsed down, and you can see I'm maybe arms length away, not quite full arms length away. I still have it bent a little bit. So this is what it looks like on the GoPro right here when it's just like not quite full arms length away. If I stretch it all the way out here, you can see it gets a little bit further right there. So you really have a pretty wide field of view already with your GoPro. But let's go ahead and we're actually going to extend this out so we can see how far it goes. So what we're gonna do here is just, we'll just take this, we'll twist it a little bit so we can actually extend the selfie stick out and get it right there. We'll just make sure everything's locked down. And now we can go ahead and extend it all the way out and boom, just like that, you can see there. And because I have the monitor, I can actually make adjustments over here so that I can see what I need to, to get this right. So I'm gonna actually uh, adjust this, bend it all the way down there, and there we go. Now we can actually get it, uh, we can get it framed up the way we want it, and we can, uh, we can make the adjustments there. So yeah, we can do it just like that, and then we can see it, and uh, it works really well. You can see there that this thing really extends out pretty, uh, pretty good length there. So it takes a little bit of practice to get the right angle with your GoPro when you have it uh, on a selfie stick because you want to make sure that you actually get, uh, you know, not too much headroom, not too much uh, uh, below. You want to get it just right. And so it does take a little bit of practice, but you can get it and make it look great. Now, if you don't want to use your GoPro with your phone as a monitor, you want to keep the overall profile of your of your selfie stick pretty low. This is just what it looks like without the uh, without the phone clip on there. It's nice and small. It fits in your pocket, and you don't look. It doesn't have all the bulk of having the phone clip and your phone attached to it. So, now I actually love using my GoPro with this selfie stick. But what I actually like even more is using my DJI Osmo Pocket, and that is because the DJI Osmo Pocket doesn't have as wide of an angle as the GoPro. So I'm going to show you guys what the Osmo Pocket looks like without the selfie stick, and then I'm going to put it on the selfie stick and show you guys what it looks like fully collapsed, and then I'll extend it out and show you guys what that looks like when it's fully extended out. All right, so here is my Osmo Pocket here, and there is nothing on it. It is just the Osmo Pocket alone, and so let's go ahead, and I'm actually going to put this in selfie mode so that I can uh, film myself here, and there we go. I'm going to go ahead now and, uh, and start filming, and so there we go. This is me on the Osmo Pocket. I have it fully extended out there with my arm uh, fully extended. So as you can see, this is fully extended. And this is sort of the field of view that you get. So um, it's not nearly as wide as it is with a GoPro here. So let's go ahead. We'll put the, uh, we'll put the, the GoPro adapter on there, the Osmo Pocket GoPro adapter, and we'll attach it to the selfie stick. And we'll see how much more we can extend this out and really get a nice overall look. All right, so here we are. You can see I have the Osmo Pocket hooked up to the selfie stick now. And I'm going to fully extend my arm out here. And we can see that the, this, the field of view is the same because my, uh, you know, because my arm only goes so far out there. So there we are. But I'm going to go ahead now, and I'm actually going to extend this out, the selfie stick out, and we'll, uh, we'll adjust this down a little bit, see if we can get the best angle. So we'll loosen that up, and we'll extend the selfie stick out as far as we can get it. And there we go, we're gonna uh, adjust that there. 
And now, as you see, we can really see a whole lot more of the scene. So the field of view on the lens hasn't changed, but being able to get this, away, get the camera further away from me allows us to see more of me and more of the overall scene around me. So this is really nice if you're shooting with something like the Osmo Pocket that doesn't have the widest angle lens on it. All right, as I mentioned earlier, because this selfie stick has tripod, uh, tripod legs, it's really nice that you can just set them down. So you can just go ahead and let them come down, set them there. You can twist a little thing on the bottom to lock them up, set them down wherever you are, and then just like that, you can now have your selfie stick there, and you can actually walk away. So if, you're, uh, if you want to go ahead and walk away from your camera a little bit, you can actually walk away and still have it right there. It's very, very easy to use. So it just makes it really nice and convenient if you want to set your camera down and talk to it and talk to your audience and do whatever else. It really makes it nice and convenient to be able to do that. So I really love this selfie stick. I think it's absolutely fantastic. All right, so we were able to see how this selfie stick performs, and I have to say, I absolutely love this thing. I love the way the tripod legs work. I love the fact that they're detachable. I love the phone clip that's on there so you can use it as a monitor. There's just so much to love about this selfie stick. So let's jump into the bad now, and what I have to say is, I don't really have anything bad to say about this selfie stick. To find anything wrong with it would really be nitpicky and unfair. I actually like the way it works. It does what it's intended to do. There is nothing wrong with it that I can see right off the bat. So. Anyhow, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave a link to this product down in the video description so that you guys can check it out. I'm also going to leave a link to my Amazon page so you guys can see all the products that I've reviewed over time. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and air grease. Peace.